Hello everybody and welcome back to the final instalment. Uh, we've got an interesting one um, in this video. Uh, today we're just going to be summarising uh, what we've learnt so far and reinforcing the concepts. So, when a user lands on this URL, how does the app know what to do? Well, the first place we need to look um, is the routes. So, if we go into Roots, Web API, sorry, Web PHP, we can see this one here. It's a GET, which corresponds to the uh, the user just landing on here. Uh, to Tickets, so we're landing on Tickets and doing a GET. So this says that it's the Ticket Controller, which handles the request, and it's the Index Method. So where is that? Close this down. App, HTTP, controllers, ticket controller. And don't forget, it's the index method. Which is here. Now we're getting rows of tickets from the database. And we are sequencing by descending um, created at order. So we're getting the latest first. And we're also introducing some pagination. So this paginate 10 means that we will get pages of 10 rows, which is why over here we've got 10 rows and some pagination controls at the bottom. So tickets is a collection of 10 tickets. And we're going to return this view tickets.index but we're going to pass the tickets to that view so where is this view tickets.index it is in resources views tickets index the important bit is this bit so we have a table uh, we've got the heading but here in the body We've got a for each loop, which will iterate through each ticket. And for each ticket, it will display a row. But what is the data? Well, because ticket is an object, we can output ticket ID, ticket summary, ticket status, which is ID, summary, status. Look at these buttons. We've got an update button and a delete button. Back in the code, there's update, there's delete. But look at the path. It's going to tickets, forward slash, and then the ticket ID. And obviously it's a get. And we need to know that because back in the, the roots file, we've got not that one, not that one, this one. Oh, that's a post. Uh, where is it? There we go. Get tickets ticket. That's the ticket ID. So when the user hits this path, when they click on the update button, they will be directed to the ticket controller show method. Back in ticket controller, uh, let's find the show method. So here, we're passing in the ticket and we're returning the view tickets.show and we're passing the ticket and statuses. I'll, we'll go over the statuses uh, in, in a short while, but the main thing is the ticket here. We're accepting in the ticket and passing the ticket to this view. But where is this view? Tickets.show. It's here. Resources, views, tickets, show. Because we're passing the ticket object to this view, we have access to all that ticket's properties. So here we've got an input. And da -da 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 -da. if we just go over, trying to find the value. So the value comes from ticket dot 
well, ticket summary, because summary is one of the properties of the ticket object. And indeed, let's update a ticket and have a look. That's this bit here. What about delete? Let's go back. There's delete. Let's just click on it first and go over to the code index the delete button that's here what's the path so tickets forward slash delete and then the ticket id so back over in the roots file uh, let's find a delete there we go and it's a get uh, tickets delete ticket that's the path and again it's the ticket controller and it's the delete method that's handling that request so back over in ticket controller delete that's this method here now we could have deleted uh, the selected ticket immediately from the database on clicking the delete button but I prefer to have some kind of a confirmation screen which is why instead of deleting that ticket we're, we're returning this view, tickets.delete, which is this view here. Back over in the code, tickets.delete is this view, delete.blade, there we go. So this form, summary, description, status, is this form here moving ever onward the delete really takes place when we click on this delete button here but where is that coded so here's the delete view and there's the delete button and this time we're submitting the form and so it will be a post and it will be a post to tickets delete and then the ticket ID so let's find the route for that so it's a post uh, 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 there we go post tickets delete and then the ticket ID so th the method that handles that is destroy in ticket controller let's find the destroy method there we go quite an easy one this one uh, because we're passing the ticket into this method all we have to do is use the delete method and then that deletes it from the database um, after that we re redirect the user to this route now we're using a named route here tickets.index because we called this route tickets.index using the name method we can also add new tickets using the add new ticket button here which presents this form so let's just go back let's find this add new ticket form sorry add new ticket button it is on the index page uh, where is it add new ticket that's the button where's it going well, it's just a, a straight link, so it will be a get method to tickets forward slash create. So over in the roots file, uh, get tickets create. So you know the routine by now, surely. Ticket controller handles it, and it's the create method. So over in ticket controller, create methods here all the create method does is uh, present this view tickets.create so that's this one here open that up so uh, there's the form with these fields summary description which correspond to summary description oh there's also a status as well aha what is this? Well, we mentioned statuses before, so uh, this looks like the ideal time to talk about that. We are including in a partial called partials underscore statuses. 
So that's in the layouts folder. Partials, statuses. Let's have a look at that. There's the select for the statuses. And as you'd expect, uh, there's a for each loop uh, that iterates through all the statuses. So for each statuses as status. So for each status, we are displaying an option. But you probably are asking, where are these statuses coming from? We were a little sneaky here. We decided to use view composers. So in app providers, app service provider, in the boot method, we've got this view composer, which is basically saying, um, see this here, statuses. So pass this variable, statuses, to this view, this partial underscore statuses. So whenever this is rendered, uh, these statuses, which are all of them, so in other words, pass all the statuses from the database to this partial. So that's where these statuses are coming from. That's nearly it, but before we go, let's just recap on the pagination. Um, as you can see, we're fetching 10 rows from the database for each page. Um, but, you know, we've got some fancy pagination links at the bottom. How are they handled? Where are they specified? Well, the starting point is in Ticket Controller in the index method, where we say paginate 10. That just means bring back the next 10 rows um, from the database. Uh, but if we go over to the index view, uh, down at the bottom, it's as easy as putting this code to get the links. So these links are caused by this bit of code. How easy is that? That's it. That's your lot. We've uh, now come to the end of the series. So I hope you've enjoyed this series uh, that showed you how you can create a ticket management system in Laravel.